Hello and welcome to Diet Diaries, a prime capsule designed to guide you towards leading a healthier, more fulfilling life. I'm Cheryl Alfonso and over the next couple of minutes, I'll be sharing with you answers to nutritional questions that have always boggled you and left you wondering about what's right. People boast about how they do not mind buying the most expensive olive oil or requesting foreign relatives to bring gallons of the stuff just so that they are ensured of better heart health. And you'll also hear the occasional, I cook in olive oil so I won't put on weight. So is olive oil really good for the heart and can it prevent heart disease? Olive oil is a fat obtained from the fruit of the Olea europea olive tree a traditional tree crop of the Mediterranean region where whole olives are pressed to produce oil which is liberally used in foods typical of the province. Populations from that region have been observed to have longer life expectancies and lower risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia that is high blood cholesterol and triglyceride levels and strokes compared with North Americans and Northern Europeans thus putting on a pedestal the oil classically used in Mediterranean cuisine. Olive oil is rich in monounsaturated fatty acids which are scientifically proven to be healthier dietary fat as opposed to saturated fats and trans fats. MUFAs have been found to reduce inflammation, endothelial dysfunction that is problems with the inner linings of blood vessels and thrombosis and this wide range of anti-atherogenic effects could explain the low rate of cardiovascular mortality found in Mediterranean countries despite a high prevalence of coronary heart disease risk factors. MUFAs are also known to lower total cholesterol and low density lipoprotein which is bad cholesterol levels, normalize blood clotting and benefit insulin levels and blood sugar control which can be especially helpful in diabetics. Olive oil has also been shown to have a slight protective effect against depression, breast cancer, Alzheimer's disease and ulcerative colitis. All these health benefits of olive oil come from the presence of the polyphenol group of antioxidants in them. But to get these healthy compounds, consumers should buy good quality, fresh, extra virgin olive oil which has the highest polyphenol content. Most commercially available olive oils have low levels of polyphenols associated with poor harvesting methods, improper storage and heavy processing. Also be aware that heat, light and air can affect the taste of olive oil and possibly its health promoting constituents. And hence, it's wrong to heat olive oil to fry fish or make gravies as is traditionally done with Indian cuisine. The phytonutrients in olive oil also degrade over time, so it's probably best to use it within six months to a year once opened. Few people realize that the healthy MUFAs present in olive oil are also present to some degree in other oils such as groundnut oil, rice bran oil and mustard oil and thus one can use these other oils which are indigenous to the region we live in. Besides, they come at a much cheaper price than the exorbitantly priced olive oil. You also need to know that healthier fats like olive oil are equally high in calories as other oils and fats such as butter and sunflower oil and so will contribute to weight gain in a manner similar to olive oil. Hence all oils including olive oil need to be used in moderation and remember that you can't make unhealthy foods healthier simply by adding olive oil to them. Well that's your diet tip for today. If you have any queries related to the subject of food, diet and nutrition or comments that you wish to share with us, please email us at the address you see scrolling below and we'll be more than happy to address your question in our upcoming episodes. Eat right, stay healthy with Diet Diaries on Prime. With Easter around the corner, I was asked by a friend waiting to dig into some chocolatey Easter eggs as to which is the better choice in terms of calories. Chocolate Easter eggs or marzipan Easter eggs? 